Well, we're watching this uh, very, very closely. Uh, we'll see what the two sides say as a result of this. Um, uh, as I've said before, uh, we continue to urge North Korea to meet its public commitments not to support Russia's war in Ukraine. No nation on the planet, nobody, should be helping Mr. Putin kill innocent Ukrainians. Um, and if they decide to move forward with some sort of arms deal, well, obviously we'll take we'll take the measure of that, and we'll and we'll and we'll deal with it a, a, appropriately. As Jake Sullivan said last week, there will certainly be repercussions for uh, North Korea, both from the United States and from the international community. Um, as for what either side will get out of this, I, I, again, I think we have to watch and see uh, what actually comes out of this discussion. obviously have concerns about any burgeoning defense relationship between North Korea and Russia. Um, again, it remains to be seen what either side A wants out of this and B will get out of it. These are not two countries that work well with others and they don't really have all that much trust and confidence in each other. So we'll have to see. But certainly any arrangement that would uh, improve uh, North Korea's military capabilities would be of, uh, certainly would be of significant concern to us.